Hello everyone, Sigmulator here. Welcome back to Horizon Forbidden West. Right. Oh yes, I have skill points. Let's get these out of the way, shall we? Uh, yeah, let's grab you. What's this? And strike gain. Cover weapon stamina and an additional valor. Yep, all right, let's get that one. Ooh, blimey. Efficient repair. Less metal shards. Yes, perfect. What have we got here? Is that a new type of burrower? But we had those already. Crystal back. Wide more. I don't like those dudes. Thunder Jaws, yeah, we know about them. Decker. Those dudes. Yep. Yeah. Holograms. Oh, uh, yeah. this one. Oh yeah. Right, weapons. Is that the new one? I think it is. Quests. That's on hold. Hunting grounds. Okay, what have we got here? They must join Marshall. Yeah. But that's the what main one we're still on. I guess that's what we need to carry on with. Hello. And there's people here who want to talk. Hello, Nell. Aloy. I can't believe it. I came back ready for a fight and instead found that you had already ended one. I wasn't alone. Your people are lucky to have Q leading them. Stubborn as weeds, that one. I'm just glad we're all back in Riverhem. For good, this time. May the land always bloom in your steps, Aloy. Thank you. Alright. Who are you? Oh, Q. Hey. The first bloom of the winter song. I can feel the heaviness of my years fade away just by looking at them. They're beautiful. It was good to see the young ones fight for this place. I'll be damned if those sprouts didn't hold their own. Strong as the roots of a proud tree. Just don't tell them I said that. Your secret's safe. <laughs> now, I better make sure our newly victorious warriors don't injure themselves while celebrating. Excellent. Right. Leave you guys to it. Hello. Where to my where to my mount? Was he was he killed? You bastards better not have better not have taken my uh, my trusty steed. Right, I need to get my health supplies back up. Mm. 
Grab as much stuff as I can. Should hit it with frost ammo. Frost ammo, eh? I don't appear to have any. Oh no, I do. There it is. We'll just let them crack on. I'll go over here. Out. Clean song. At least up here I can fast travel. Workbench. Ooh, upgrades. Hell yes. Get some of these out of the way. Can't do any more with that. What about you? More. Oh yeah, fully upgraded outfit now. Excellent. God, these upgrades are expensive. All right, fast travel. What the hell? Right, okay then. That's not complete, that's fine. Bunch of stuff around there to explore. Loads of campfires to unlock. Where was that? Oh, yeah, you're over there. I can't do anything with you yet, can I? No, you're locked for some reason. Someone there. The base. I need to override a charger. Charger site there, so let's... Hello there. No, I'm good. But where are the chargers? They are over here. I'm 
mark the spot in my focus. Come back later. Right, boom. Oh, I don't have any stones. Where are my stones? Yeah, come over here. Do come in, come over here and investigate. There we go. There's no need for you guys to chase me. Just leave. Excellent. Right, that's going to take... This is going to take a while for me to get where I need to go, so... If I, if I see something interesting on the journey, we will have a look. Until then, see you in a bit. I have discovered a murder site. Aloy hasn't said anything about these bodies, but these tracks have appeared. Alright, don't know what happened there. The Gala will lead us to victory. Oh, they made me. Oh hello. Uh Where's that coming from? Oh, hello. Go. Steady. Is that it? Have I stumbled across something I wasn't supposed to yet? Another metal flower over there.
All right. Well, we'll be back when something else happens. Okay, looks like I've travelled as far as I can by my noble steed. And we have to go through here. The base. Oh, okay, I'm back here. Now, where are you sending me? Okay, I'm going the right way. Oh, Aloy. Your Karja friend came through. She went to that Asaram camp you two were looking for, to the southwest. Ah, excellent. Thank you. Aloy. Sorry, I didn't mean to startle you. You sure you're okay being alone in here? I have Gaia, and learning how to interpret the glyphs of the Old Ones, it keeps me occupied. Have you gone back to Plainsong at all? I thought about it, but I wouldn't know what to tell them. The Chorus already thinks me a thorn in the thicket. If they knew what we did to Fa, even if they understood, there'd be little they could grasp about all this. No. For now, I must leave the tribe behind. You mentioned you've been teaching yourself how to read? Yes. Gaia was kind enough to put together a list of glyphs used by the Old Ones. She helped me decipher some of the... data you've collected, and showed me how to use the focus to help the process. It's not easy, but... it's been working so far. That's good to hear. Did Gaia tell you anything about Zenus? She did. Though it wasn't exactly easy to believe. To think that there are places among the stars where life can bloom as it does here. It is... humbling, to say the least. And heartbreaking. That such life should be bent on destroying ours. Sounds like you met my friend Talana. Yes. The Karja Huntress. I haven't seen armor like hers since the Red Raids, but Varl tells me that she too suffered at the hands of the Mad Sun King. Yeah, she's one of the good ones. Trust me. All right. So you've been talking to Gaia? Yes. She was kind enough to take me through some of the history of the Old Ones, including their demise and the heroic actions of her creator. Elizabeth Sobek. I was surprised to see she was you. Past, but reborn? N not that I claim to understand how. So, how does a tribe like the Utaru manage to maintain the peace with warriors like the Tanakh? By holding them off. When our fields bloomed aplenty, the Tanakh looked upon our lands with envy. But Plainsong's dishes provided sanctuary and high ground to keep invaders at bay. In the end, even the Tanakh saw sense in a truce. The Utaru promised to provide the Tanakh with food from our crops every year. In exchange, the Tanakh would relinquish one of their own, a veteran, to train the Utaru in combat. This custom was abandoned a few years after the derangement. But some veterans still remain in the plains. I've been meaning to ask, what's the deal with you and the chorus? You didn't seem to be on the best of terms. That's what happens when you're the one Utaru who insists on publicly defying them. Twice. When the Karja invaded the Utaru plains, they did more than just attack our villages. They burned our fields, took our people as slaves, and murdered those who were too weak to make the trip back to Meridian. To be sacrificed in the Sun Ring. I was helping the healers back then, as waves of refugees swarmed into Plainsong. The chorus was divided in how to face the invaders. Some saw sense in raising arms, 
others believe the dishes would keep us safe, as they had many times before. And while they bickered, I buried the seeds of the fallen. That couldn't have been easy. Seeing your people suffer while the Karja invaded your lands. I come from a small village near Plainsong. My grandmother used to say there was no seed that wouldn't grow there. I moved to the dishes when I decided to apprentice as a healer. When the Red Raids began, I thought about going back. But the injured kept pouring into Plainsong, day after day. So I kept putting it off. One day, I woke up to hear a Karja raiding party had ransacked my village during the night. I rushed there with the healers to help the survivors, but... There weren't any left. The smell of burning flesh haunts me to this day. I'm sorry, Zoa. I made it a point to appear before the chorus as soon as we returned. To demand that we take a stand against the invaders. I was denied. So I left to fight on my own. You said you set out to fight the Karja alone? I did. But it turned out I wasn't the only one. News of my disagreement with the Chorus spread through the plains. Before I knew it, I had more than a dozen Utaru warriors ready to follow me into battle. We knew we couldn't take on the Karja armies head on. But we also knew the lay of the land better than they did. We ambushed smaller raiding parties, sabotaged their supply lines, and hit their encampments at night. Sounds like you were a force to be reckoned with. Enough that the Tanakh took notice. When the clans began to push the Karja back east, they let us join their ranks. We chased the enemy all the way to Baron Light. You said you were at Baron Light when the Tanakh defeated the Karja? Tanakh marshals climbed the Cliffs of the Daunt under cover of night, then attacked from the other side. Before we knew it, the gates were open, and the full force of the clans burst through. What happened next was... not something I like to remember. When all the dust and blood settled, I smelled it again. The stench of burnt flesh. Our enemies defeated. What was left of my squad returned to the Utaru Plains. I went back to Plain Song. But even as the harvest passed, it didn't feel like I'd truly returned at all. Is that when you became a grave singer? I thought soothing the suffering of others would somehow appease my own. Then you came along, and gave me a choice. I could either sing at people's graves, or fight for a chance to keep them alive. I'm glad you chose the latter. Excellent. Well, I think we're done. I need to go, but if you need anything, you can contact me through your focus. I'll keep that in mind. Oh yes, can I do anything with this yet? Oh no, I need, I need things, that's what it is. Alright, so I need to get those in order to override the plow horns. Alright. sound like rebels no they don't okay so I've got oh gauntlet runs excellent we 
Maybe if I follow their tracks, I can find out where they're headed. I can probably use my focus to follow the tracks those riders left behind. Yeah, but we're not going to do that. Not yet, anyway. Hello? What's up here, then? Alright. You're the outlander who stood against Regala and her rebels. I am. Only if it means we're good here. Don't worry. I'm not here to drink your blood, or whatever you Easterners think we do. The slaughter at the embassy wasn't your fight, yet you stood by the marshals. As far as I'm concerned, you're no enemy of the Tanakh. But you are going to need help if you plan on surviving the clan lands. I hear and see many things as a scout. I could share them with you. Be safe. You on your journey. I'd be grateful. Well then, there's a tall neck south of here that's been acting twitchy. Something's wrong with it, but I'm not sure what. Might be smart to stay alert if you run into it. Good to know. All right. A twitchy. What level am I? I'm level 18. Still learns. But it seems to be malfunctioning deep in the desert. Fixing it might provide data on the surrounding area. Cool. We'll keep an eye on that. Whatever's wrong with that tower, I can think of who the right is. It'll give me useful data on the surrounding area. I should check it out. We should, but maybe when, we're, when we've leveled up enough. Something other than that. Ah, that campfire was up there. Shit. <laughs> I like this thing. No, 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 no. That's not what I wanted to do. That's what I wanted. Hey, boy. You don't need to follow me, long legs. Oh, sorry, wildlife. All right. Yeah, we've had this conversation. Yeah, we're not doing that. Hey, like, we're, hey, like, we're not doing that. Not yet, anyway. We got another camp. Oh, that big old thing again. But how long is it going to take us to get there? Jesus. Alright. I know this hasn't been a very exciting episode, but no. I don't want to run into hour-long episodes again so I'm going to end this one here 
Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this, guys. If you liked it, like, subscribe, ding that bell. I've been Sigma Later. This has been Horizon Forbidden West, and I'll catch you next time. Take care now.